Why your puppy isn't calm and crate. Hi everyone, Bethany and Sparky here from the Puppy Academy, and here are the top reasons that we see clients struggle with crate training. One of the reasons your puppy isn't calm in the crate could be because you're only putting him in there at night or whenever you leave. Guys, that's just not enough time. Nighttime is not enough time of crate, and there's not enough consistency. Plus, if you only do it when you leave, now they're only associating being in the crate with you being gone, which can create a negative association to the crate. Then they really start to pick up on cues, mm -hmm. like picking up your purse and your keys, right, be keys. Yep, right before you go to the grocery store. Then they start to become anxious at those types of mm -hmm. cues as well. So you should be doing a crate rotation throughout the day regularly when your puppy is under six months old. Then you can kind of decide how to wean off from there. That way you're really teaching that independence right away. Something else you might accidentally be doing is amping them up in a physical or emotional way. So what do I mean by that? Well, you could be playing fetch with them, getting them really riled up, and then putting them in crate before they have a chance to de-escalate and really calm down. Now, if you're emotionally doing it, you know what that means. You're cuddling and snuggling them and petting them and getting them, giving them all the love and then expecting them to just be fine when you separate yourself from them. Everything should be transitioned. The puppy should really be in a calm state of mind before you even put them in crate whenever possible. So what I mean by that is they can't be in a follower state. So if they're looking at you longingly, like, please pick me up, please play with me, and you're just like, nope, put them in the crate, shut the door, they're gonna have some anxiety. You need to work them calmly or just ignore them for a while before you calmly put them in crate. Another reason might be maybe your puppy just isn't getting enough exercise or they're not getting the right type of exercise. And I don't just mean physical, I mean mental work. Mental exercises, impulse control, those are the big ones and you have to practice it daily. And I want you to think of impulse control work separately from even mental work because mm -hmm. there's so many enrichment exercises you can do, teach all your basic obedience, but make sure the impulse control is, is in there too. Waiting to go through thresholds, waiting for food bowl for permission, those are all things that you can be teaching your puppy to do in the first week or two. Mm -hmm. Every time they come out of the crate, every time they walk outside, every time that you feed them, lots of great opportunities to practice. Lots of pausing, go slow, take your time. Now lastly, this is the hard one, you could be giving too much attention, affection, too much stimulation, all of those things combined when your puppy is out of crate. Now I know that that's a hard one, how much is, is too much? Let me just say this, make sure you're focusing plenty of your time on teaching your puppy how to live in this world, teaching them how to be independent. Because here's the thing, crate alone does not teach your puppy independence. You have to teach them how to do hard things, how to walk on different surfaces, how to wait at the door, how to wait for food for permission, to not jump up on people. These are daily exercises that you need to be working on with your puppy, not just holding them and feeding them treats for sit and telling them how cute they are. So I know that's a really hard one and it's really tough to know what's too much, what's not enough. So if you would like a lot more information on that topic, please check out our online training school. Go to thepuppyacademy.com and we'll see you there. And don't forget, like and subscribe.